Hey guys, Michal from Unreal Bucket. Today I'm excited to introduce you to Material Utilities for Unreal Engine. Material Utilities is a free tool you can find in the newest release of the Unreal Bucket plugin that helps with assigning materials to multiple meshes at once. Sounds simple enough, but this little tool has already saved me a lot of time. Now I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on how to use the Material Utilities in Unreal Engine. First things first, you're gonna need the Unreal Bucket plugin. Just go ahead to unrealbucket.com and download it for your Unreal Engine version. And if the plugin is already installed, make sure you're running version 1.2.4 or higher. And a little disclaimer, the plugin and the material utilities tool work both in Unreal Engine 5 and Unreal Engine 4. Okay, great. So I have a new project, some assets to start with. Now, if I go ahead and hit this three dots icon next to the Unreal Bucket logo, I can open up the Material Utilities window. It's just a regular panel and it can be resized or docked anywhere. Okay, it says use a plus icon to add a new material or import from selected meshes. So let's go ahead and do that. If I hit the plus icon, it will add a new row to the material list. Currently it's empty, so let's drag and drop a material into this slot. And if a material is selected in your content browser, hitting the plus icon will add it to the list automatically. So this list, or these materials I should say, are going to be assigned to selected static meshes in content browser. Here I have a couple of sphere meshes each with just one material slot. The element index corresponds with the ID in the material utilities. Now, if I select any static mesh, you can see the assign button is active. And when I click it, the material gets assigned to that selected mesh. There are two modes you can use, but let's leave it for now. Okay, I'm going to select other spheres and click the assign button again. Now all meshes have the same material. Let's change the material one more time, but this time I'm gonna click and use the search bar, just, a, just as I would do in any static mesh actors details panel. Okay, let me search M underscore red, and here it is. You can always use the browse icon to directly navigate to that material. It's very convenient as you don't need your materials to be in the same folder as static meshes. Let's now use the import button. For this example, I'm gonna pick a different asset. This desk has three materials and look at the slot names. We're gonna use them in a sec, but now I'm gonna select the mesh and hit import. As you can see, the list has been automatically filled with the same materials. I'm going to switch the first one with a copy that has a red color. I'm gonna drag and drop in here onto this slot. Select the mesh, hit assign. Okay, so far we use the ID mode to assign materials, but there's also the slot mode. And I'm sure you've already guessed it. This mode uses slot names instead of IDs, so a material is assigned only when the slot name in the mesh matches this one here. So let me demonstrate it. So I'm gonna change the slot name to let's say test. And I'm gonna switch the root material to a different one. Okay, so now if I have my both meshes selected and I change the mode to slot, and I hit assign, you can see the only one mesh got updated. Great, I'm gonna change the slot name here and that's just a regular text field. Let's type test and hit assign. So there you have it. Generally, the more static meshes and materials you have, the more this little tool shines. So go ahead and download it for free and let me know what do you guys think. Thanks for watching and see you next time.